Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Kostub Sharma and today I am going to tell you what should be your approach towards a question in any of the AWS certification exam, whether it is a solution architect exam or developer exam or any other. There is a good news for all of you guys that AWS starts sending AWS voucher of the latest solution architect exam. So if you want to receive this free voucher for the solution architect exam, then watch our exam voucher video. Link will be available in the i button or in the description down below or you can join our telegram channel also. So if you have received voucher like me, then please let me know in the comment section or even if you haven't received the voucher, please let me know in the comment box. So I will tell you the further process to receive the voucher. So in this video along with the question, we also discuss how to select your answer, what should be your approach while selecting the correct option. Let's start first question. A developer is trying to make API calls using AWS SDK. I suggest you read a question with concentration so you don't have to waste time reading it again and again. The IAM user credential used by the application require multi-factor authentication for all API calls. Which method should the developer use to access the multi-factor authentication protected API? So here developer wants to access multi-factor authentication protected API. So the next thing I do to solve the question is to mark the keywords. The main keyword in this question is multi-factor authentication protected API. Now after selecting the keyword, let's see the options. But before selecting them, I want you to understand that all option in AWS certification exams seems to be correct and might be they are correct indeed. But we have to choose the best and most cost effective option according to the question. So while selecting correct option, we should know why other three options are wrong. This is the best approach one can use to find correct response. Get session token. So get session token API returns a set of temporary credential for any AWS account or IAM user. The credential consists of an access key ID, a secret access key and a security token. Generally we use get session token if we want to use MFA to protect programmatic calls to specify AWS API operation. Therefore here developer can use get session token with an MFA device to make secure API calls using AWS SDK. So it seems like get session token is the correct answer. But as I told you earlier, we have to choose the best response. That's why we need to check all other options also. Second is decode authorization message. It decodes additional information about the authorization status of a request from an encoded message returned in the response to an AWS request, which doesn't require here. So this cannot be our correct answer. Third is get caller ID. It returns detail about the IAM user or role whose credentials are used to call the operation, which is not asked in the question. And the last one, get federation token. So it is used with the federated user to return a set of temporary security credentials, which I already told you consist of an access key ID, secret access key and a security token. But here application use IAM user credential, not federated user credential. So this cannot be our response. But out of these four, we found only one option to be correct. And we can verify our answer with the keyword we found in our question. That is multi-factor authentication protected API calls. And here only get session token API is used for MFA protected API calls. So let's select the get session token API. It's correct. So here you can check out the detailed explanation why any option is correct or incorrect and also a short trick. You will also file a reference to the AWS documents directly here. So join to our telegram group where I keep posting daily AWS questions with the proper explanation. Also you get additional exclusive benefits there in the group like vouchers. Link will be available in the description. If you like this video, make sure to upload this video and join our telegram group. Also, if you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe the channel. See you in the next video.